I hate following the mob, but you know, I did my best to ignore this, but at this point, I really can't. You are looking at New Haven, Connecticut, site of the NCAA squash championships, site of a near smackdown on a squash court. How many of you have ever even actually seen squash, much less played it? And how many of you have ever actually seen anything like this? Let me answer for you, none of you. You see something like that and you're like, whoa, whoa, back that up. What was that? A 6'5 senior squasher getting right in the grill of some cat who goes about five foot five after a championship point. Let's not confuse that with talking smack. That's not smack. Smack would have been enjoy your offseason. Scoreboard, look up at it. No, that was borderline assault, an invasion of a dude's personal space, essentially a reason to go. And he probably would have if he wasn't a foot smaller, 100 pounds lighter, and a squash player. But he had a reason to, because I haven't seen a squasher humiliate another one like that since Gordon Gecko abused Chuck Sheen. The only thing missing was the 6'5er calling him sport, demanding that he finish out the game, telling him to buy a decent suit, pal, and then slapping him silly on the beach and throwing a handkerchief in his face. Hey, squasher, dial it down, dog. Stop acting like the Trinity Bantams or the Miami Hurricanes of the squash circuit. Did you get off your airplane in fatigues? Do they let you cut the lines in all the cool clubs? Back in the shallow end, squashers. If we're talking about you on ESPN, you have embarrassed yourself and your sport. And don't tell me that any pub is good pub because we're not talking about you unless you're embarrassing yourself.